thank you everyone for coming to Steno 24-7, where I try to fulfill all of your dictation needs. If you'd like to support me, you can go on www.patreon.com, Steno Duchess, and help make this channel even better. If you go on there, you'll see the goals that I'm trying to make this channel better. And some people want to contribute, some people don't. So if you don't want to support, that's fine. If you do, it's there for you. Today we are working on Pittman Speed Building Literary Dictation, The Lion's Growl by John Chippel Grave. This will be at 70 words per minute. And I want to say if you do want to contribute, I do put extra dictations on there, but they're only for the people that support this channel. With that being said, this is at 70 words per minute. That's right. Every government in the world knows that the person and the property of a British subject, wherever located, must be adequately protected against injury or wrong. Failure to accord this protection invariably results injuriously to the government through whose neglect or connivance the wrong may have been suffered. So inevitable is the punishment meted out to those concerned in doing violence to the rights of a British subject in the most remote and inaccessible parts of the world that the subjects or citizens of other foreign countries are on that account treated with a consideration often denied to the citizens of weak governments even in their home countries. What is the result of this unvarying British policy? The immunity of her subjects from injury and wrong in all parts of the world. Great Britain's reputation has been so thoroughly established in this regard that it is seldom that she is now called upon to demonstrate anew her adherence to the fixed and relentless principles upon which it is based. A Briton, wherever he may be, therefore has a conscious assurance at all times that a great, compelling, and irresistible force stands ever ready to protect his person and his property or exact the uttermost in punishment in reparation for the violation of either. While the same is true in a measure of other nations it is equally true of none. Wherefore a British subject is usually accorded to a fuller exercise of his rights than are the subjects or citizens of other countries. Countries more lax in the assertion of the inviolability of the persons and the property of their citizens. If you like the way I dictated that, you can come and give me a thumbs up. 
You can also subscribe. Just come to my channel, hit the button. I'm still on my 50, still trying to get 50 subscribers. So if you'd like to join me, please come to my channel and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And it just helps me uh, keep motivated to keep putting more videos up. So thank you everyone for coming. And happy writing.